grateful that you are here. Yoga Bliss with Shelly is a space to help women create a home yoga practice and a self-care sanctuary. Why a home practice? Because you deserve the best for you. You deserve to feel healthier, to feel better in the skin that you are in, to be more confident, to be more focused. You deserve everything that it is that you desire. And I truly believe that with a home yoga practice and creating this self-care sanctuary within that you can accomplish everything that you always wanted to. You can get your body feeling good. You can feel lovely and beautiful in the skin that you are in. I am a mama of three and I know all of the body issue things with the belly and the boobs and the legs and the butt and the feet. And really here, this is a space to fully embody and embrace who you are as you are. And I do believe that you can love yourself as you are, as you work towards bettering yourself. I know when I first heard that, I thought it was super condescending or contradictory, thinking, how do I love this person that I have actually fallen to hate over all of these years of my life? I can't love her. I believe you can, because if I can love myself after truly hating myself, you can too. And it just takes spending time with you. We get so locked up in media and devices that we don't even know who we are. And so I am here to take you to that journey, to your self-care sanctuary, to connecting with your inner self because she's in there. And you deserve very much to find a friend within yourself because she's in there. She's in there even if she's like hiding behind the curtains and maybe she's uh, she's not sure, maybe she's peeking through, that you deserve to come out. She deserves to come out and play, and this is your time. This is your year. I truly believe that every year that you are in, every moment that you are in, can be the best that you choose to make it. And let's make this a beautiful year of self-discovery, of personal growth, of claiming our strength and our power. Because if you haven't noticed, I'm a very, I'm a big woman. I'm five foot nine. I have muscly football lineback structure. I wear a size 12 shoe. It's hard to find shoes in my size. If you are a woman with big feet, you will know. You will know what I'm talking about. It's time to be who you are and love who you are and just show up in your life. And through this home practice, my lovely, through all of these different classes, that you can be that woman that you've always wanted, that you've always craved, that maybe you look at other women and you're like, oh my gosh, I want what she has, I want rah, 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 rah. Did you know something beautiful? That jealousy can be a helpful tool instead of being something so negative, that when you feel that, oh my gosh, I'm feeling jealous of what that person has, let that be a light to turn on and say, oh, what that person has is something that I want. So how can I get inspired or motivated off of that person instead of living in that low vibrational, oh, I'm so jealous, I don't have this, I'm incomplete. Guess what? You are perfectly imperfect just the way you are. And with creating your home practice, you can start changing parts of yourself that you never believed was possible. You can start feeling good about yourself. You can start actually liking yourself. I know it's a hard jump to go from hating yourself to loving yourself, but you can start taking little steps and when you start showing up on your mat, my beautiful, you'll just start awakening little pieces of you that you're gonna be like, dang, you are fun. Wow, you are so playful. Wow, you're freaking strong. And I'm going to encourage you and push you to do postures and to move your bodies in ways that maybe you've never moved before. Maybe you were sure that you could do that. We are going to link that mind-body connection and know that you are way stronger than you freaking think you are because your body is a vessel, this beautiful vessel, this self-care sanctuary. And when I say a woman's home yoga and self-care sanctuary, I do mean also like setting up your beautiful sanctuary that feels good, like find your vibe. But I really mean your self-care sanctuary exists within you that you are that vessel and that 
when we can create this beautiful self-care sanctuary that we can change our lives, we can transform those parts of us that we've been resisting and pressing to change. Like, have you been complaining of how old you're looking, how fat you're feeling, how stretched out you're feeling, how low energy you're feeling, how no focus you're feeling, how overwhelmed or how anxious you're feeling. I know we all go through these, all of these phases. Like we were meant to be human beings for a reason. And I'm here to show you the way. I'm here to be your guide. I love you. I really have experienced this inner spiritual awakening and this this love and this zest for my life that I never thought was possible. And yes, even with three kids, a husband of almost 20 years, a dog and the house and the bunga 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 and the things in the business, and that you can be the woman that you've always wanted to be. And I love you, I'm so grateful for you. And please just come with an open heart and an open mind, let freaking go of those expectations because those expectations are what get in our way and get ready to make new habits because new habits are the gateway to personal transformation and no a new habit takes a minimum of 21 days that's three weeks but research is showing that it can take more like 45 days for someone like me, it can take me upwards to 75 days. That's kind of that three, six, nine, almost, that's two and a half months, almost three months to make something in practice. So if you haven't been working out or exercising or practicing yoga or practicing self-care, it's okay. I know as a woman and a mama, all the excuses, I know that we don't make time, we don't make the money. Let all of that business go and make the time. Invest in you, invest in you time. You can always make more money, but you can never get the time back. And time is crucial, and you must spend time with you to change inside of here before anything out here is going to change. I love you, I could speak on this forever. I'm so grateful for you. Please check out all of these classes. There's Yoga by Length. You can just check out for by Inspired Classes or just roll with what feels good for you. If you find a class or a series that you really like, Take it over and over and over until you master it, until you get really good at it. And I freaking love the 11 practices for beginners. This class was actually created with my daughter who is amazing. She's 13 years old and she helped me create this class because she's very much a beginner and she lacks coordination and flexibility and all the things. And I sat with her and I actually practiced and created these geared towards the beginner. And if you are a seasoned yogi, oh, you can always get back to the basics. I actually am such a dork and I love practicing my classes so I can be like, oh yeah, that was great. Or, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe I could do this a little different. So those 11 practices for beginners are freaking awesome. I worked so, I worked hard and I worked effortlessly and I put so much love and so much attention into them. And every class is like that. And I'm just here showing up as me. I'm Shelly Bond, a mom of three, a wife, a yogi, a Reiki master. I like to call myself a spiritual alchemist. I'm also an author. I love writing. I love hiking. I've recently taken up the hobby, which sounds funny, of running. I used to loathe running, but I have been running three days a week and it is so liberating. And through stretching, I actually can get more mobility and flexibility when I'm actually running and freeing my mind and freeing my body. Okay, I love you. I'm so grateful for you. And there's so much more to come. This is just the beginning of you awakening to you. I love you. Namaste, lovely light. I'm so grateful for you. Have a beautiful day.